All right, I was rereading Scrum Guide 2020 this evening, and something really stood out to me. We get a lot of questions about what does Scrum require, and I realized part of the new text, it actually tells us that in a nutshell, Scrum requires a Scrum Master. And what does that Scrum Master do? They foster an environment where four things are basically possible. But I want you to look at this word environment. We're going to examine this for a second. This, I think, means we're going to be working in the organization. So we're going to be working as a change agent, right? Kind of makes that inherent. A change agent, a trainer, a teacher, maybe some mentorship, but a lot of stances working in the org. We're not just working with the scrum team because we're trying to foster an environment where certain things are possible. Let's start with the product owner. We need a, the product owner able to order the work, right? And they're going to order that work. What are they going to do? They're going to create a product backlog. This is one of our artifacts, right? So the product backlog is going to be ordered by the product owner, not prioritized in such a way that we have a shot at solving a complex problem. Now the scrum team is going to take that ordering, right? Scrum team is going to take that ordering. They're going to grab a selection of that work that's been ordered, and they're going to try to turn that into an increment of value during a sprint, right? So they're going to create an increment Increment, by the way, is another one of our artifacts. And of course, there's that value word again. So we're value driven, but we're also trying to get to done, right? We want a done valuable increment created during the sprint by the end of a sprint. So the word by is important, by the end of a sprint. And that's so that a scrum team can come together with the stakeholders. So this is biz plus IT coming together to inspect and adapt. So they're gonna check their work. We're gonna check the work, Let's make sure it was valuable, right? We're checking that value promise, right? So this is, again, the org, everyone coming together to inspect for value. And we're gonna adapt what we're doing. That adaptation is going to occur in the product backlog, right? We're closing that feedback loop. We're gonna adjust. The product owner is gonna take those adjustments, update the product backlog, because we have another sprint coming because we're gonna repeat all of this, right? When one sprint ends, the next begins, so on and so forth. And so we're gonna take that learning and carry it forward and try to make sure that we're aligned to the customer needs and doing the right thing at the right time the right way.